Hey, what's going on y'all? Donovan here with Ernie Williamson Music, repping the brand today. Uh, got a gorgeous horn that I've been waiting on forever. This is the, I should have gotten myself comfortable before I started this video. Uh, this is the Lotus Solo. Just the Solo model. This is the horn that Adam Rappa plays. Adam usually plays the one with the fourth valve. That allows you to do a natural harmonic low F all the way down to pedal C sharp. This is the Solo model. Uh, and so the Solo model, five and a half inch bell, the medium large taper into the bell, uh, but it has a copper stem. So from here back it's, or excuse me, from here back it's copper with a phosphor bronze uh, bell flare. Copper ha the copper stem has more copper in it. Phosphor bronze is a, um, an alloy between, was it zinc? and copper and so it has less copper than the copper does uh, but more copper than say like yellow brass would if that makes sense uh, uh medium weight receiver you know uh, yellow brass here essentially at this point other than this you know it's kind of a similar horn to what you'd see everywhere else the tuning slide phosphor bronze comes with an additional tuning slide which i think is the nickel sil silver i didn't check in the bag uh comes with their the valve you know normal valve caps all that kind of stuff. Really, really cool horn. And also, I have, this is the first I've seen it, but this one came in this Lotus case, which is something I've never seen before. And it's a really nice case. I'll show you that here in just a second. Uh, but let's, let's, let's talk about this instrument. So, gorgeous uh, instrument, maw valves, uh, beautiful inlays if you've seen those. Um, if you've seen any of my other Lotus reviews, then you should be kind of familiar generally with like what Adam's doing with this. Uh, with, with what their uh, thinking is for it. They're uh, using a lot of machining versus casting. So like the lead pipes are machined so that it's more accurate in terms of getting like the right taper, uh, the right wall thickness. Uh, and all that helps you to have like more accurate slots for the notes and that everything is accurate and rich a sound as you can get. And with the copper bell stem, uh, that gives you even more tone color to choose from it. It just adds even more of like what Adam called like the ooey kind of gooey sound uh, into there. And then but with the phosphor bronze flare, you still get some, you get that project projection and just a little bit of added brilliance up at the top of the sound. It's a really, 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 really love, lovely instrument. I've uh, played it just for a few minutes today. It just came in today. And so I played it just for a couple of minutes just to sort of like see what it's like and uh, haven't like played it for anything else. This instrument's already sold, uh, so I won't really like get to go uh, play it on a gig or anything. Sometimes when things come, like this come in, I like to go take it and play it out in an ensemble uh, so that when I come back and talk to you about it, I have more real world experience other than just playing it here in my music room. So, <laughs> but you know, that's not just not gonna be an option in this, this case. So uh, anyway, a real rich sound. Uh, I'll, I'll kind of like honk around on here for a second and, and uh, let you hear. Honk may not be the most, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have said that. I'll play some something. I don't even know what I'm gonna play. Okay, I'm gonna shut up and play. using a C cut mouthpiece with this so nothing super crazy uh, deep or, or uh, shallow just your nice middle of the road but I mean you just hear this gorgeous fluid singing quality to it it's really quite lovely centered sound uh, just really a, a gorgeous overall kind of the notes just sort of pop uh, but there's this fluidity and connected to, to connectedness to it i feel like those are elements of my playing that aren't like the best parts of my playing so <laughs> any horn that helps me to get that i like <laughs> okay so that's a c cat mouthpiece i'm just gonna switch over to this thing i, I won't tell you really what the mouthpieces are other this is a commercial mouthpiece this is a shallower mouthpiece than than what most will and i haven't even tried this at all with this horn so uh i don't know what we're gonna get here but let's just see let's see what happens Ooh, 
Okay, okay, hold on. Whereas <laughs> where, where is with the C cup mouthpiece, it was like elegant and soft and beautiful. This is like, hey, MFR, check this out. <laughs> oh, this is nice, okay. Yeah, I guess if you want the one horn that does it all, then this is, might be the one. Um, that's ridiculous. Uh, that, <laughs> that shouldn't be that easy to go from rich and ooey gooey and delightful to like make you strip your clothes off and run through the streets after drinking half a bottle of tequila. Uh, <laughs> that shouldn't be that easy, uh, but it is, okay. I'm just, never mind. I was gonna say something off color, but I won't because sometimes I think maybe children could, not children, but high school kids could watch this. And we know high school kids are not used to hearing things that are off color or inappropriate. So I don't wanna be the one to introduce to them bad words or impure thoughts. Anyway, uh, yeah, Lotus Solo. Uh, let's get back on track here. Uh, like I said, friends, sorry, this one's already sold, um, but this is just an absolutely killer, killer horn. Oh. Let me show you the case. I was gonna show you the case. I don't know if they're all gonna come with that. Lotus, uh, is, as a company, cool things happening, great products, amazing, but sometimes I, I don't know what's happening until things happen. Like I didn't, you know, this, this horn shows up, has a case, didn't realize it's gonna have a case, but uh, you kind of look at that inside. It's really, it's got quilted, it's quilted inside. It's got little suspension blocks here uh, to keep the horn from moving and to keep it safe. Uh, it's hard to see because it's because it's a black interior, but. This is a Velcro uh, mouthpiece pouch, so you can have your mouthpiece in there, but it won't bounce around inside the case. Um, it's really light, but it, it's, it's so it's got a it's got a hard shell, but it's a really light case. I would guess that it weighs less than a pound. Uh, it has shoulder straps inside of here, uh, plus a carry handle here, uh, and leather handles here. Just a super super nice case from our folks over at Lotus. So yeah, friends, if you uh, would like to get one of these or would like to get info about Lotus uh, mouthpieces or trumpets or anything else, uh, you can uh, go over to erniewilliamson.com. Uh, our website is always a kind of a work in progress, but if you do the search, you can find it. Uh, and you're always well, welcome to email me directly, uh, Donovan, D-O-N-O-V-A-N, at erniewilliamson.com. And I'm happy to tell you what we've got coming, put you on a waiting list or whatever. Okay. As always, thanks for watching and take care.